party that they are in dead earnest in defense of their only ABA title to date, the All Filipino, which they won in the first tournament last year. Bounce pass to Ubalde, and Ubalde is crowded and fouled. A 23-point lead. Koa getting away from Monzon, shovels the pass, and Javier is fouled in the act of shooting. It'll be two charities for Javier, on a foul by Monzon. And uh, while the charities are being fashioned from the first and only foreign champion, Nicholas Dudley Fashion Makers, comes the pure gold collection, a 24-carat product line in the latest casual wear. Nicholas Studley's Pure Gold, a solid investment in style, quality, and comfort. Available at selected department stores. Nicholas Studley's Pure Gold. Try it now. You'll love it. Javier with eight points to miss by Javier with seven minutes and 30 seconds to go. 104 to 80. Canen over to Gutierrez. He misses on a back shot. And Fabiosa loses the ball. Papasio back to Fabiosa who goes for it. And Espinosa has it. All the way to Cole. What a save by Espinosa. Three point try by Cole. Short. And the ball is out at the baseline handle. Last call. What a save by We've got a crisp timer. Get a Kelvinator refrigerator today. It's got the largest freezer compartment in its class. Turnover as a result of a bad spot by Hovalde. Richardis lays up, connects, and he is fouled by Espinosa. Uh, no, it's Fabiosa. Second foul. Uh, also involved. Thirteen foul charge to Crispa. Six minutes and 43 seconds to go. You watch his game line over... Progress Television 4 with 104 against 82 on the board. We're coming away live and in color. Gutierrez can... No, he doesn't. The tap goes back to Gutierrez and he connects. That's, uh, you might call it a four-point play. Back-to-back -back hits by Gutierrez, although he missed on his own charity. A bad inbound by Rubalde intended to Goes out at the sideline for a turnover. Javier is now replaced by Gutierrez as he picks up foul for two. Comes in for Freddy Ubalde. It's a 20 point cushion. Rene Kanen's got 10 points. And this is something to try this. Into the front court. Another fast break by the recognizers with Espinosa leading it. We missed. Hitting the deck and rolling over. No foul. Cleopas this time loses the ball. It's knocked out of the baseline. Outside for Tendroy. A good tap out by Gudabin. 112 to 92. Three minutes and 57 seconds left. As early as the third period, Chris Pay indicated that they were very serious in launching their first victory. Although they did relax somewhat. Good job, then. 114 to 92. Three and 35 left. Against Espinosa. Missing. And the rebound goes to Sanchez for a follow up miss. Cesar losing that ball. It goes to Canent for an easy hit. 114 to 94. Into the front court. It's a win by Co against Gutierrez. Cross court for Biosa. Gidabin is fouled in the act of shooting. Interception by Canent. And he converts. And another faulty hit by Philip Cesar that time. Pressing Tendoy Esquires, trying to whittle down a lead. It's a 14-pointer now, 115 to 101. Espinosa in the front court. Bounce back to Javier. He is fouled by Capasha. And that will be the sixth and final foul of Eli Capasha tonight. Yeah. Oh, two minutes and 16 seconds. Capasha, six fouls out. Substitution, Cesar is now being kept by Freddy Ubalde, who is celebrating his birthday today. Castillo is trying to come in without reporting to the people's officials when he was spotted by referee Bartolome. <laughs> How is that again, Mike? <laughs> I've been reporting to the table official. I've been forgotten already. <laughs> They must have really lost their concentration, huh? We're looking at the time. Yeah, that's right. And the time is down to two minutes and five seconds now. After Cormis, he tries again, converts this one, and it's counted with a foul by Gutierrez. Three-point play for Atoy Cole. 